um, with the top down. I decided to go get Run. it. <laughs> Would you not classify a vehicle that has a tailgate, a legit flop down, fold down tailgate, a truck? That's almost it for all of our um, engine stuff. It's just very simple, guys. Just very simple. We don't have a lot done right now. Right now. All right, guys. So we found something. Power joke sold. Dude didn't want me to like camera or nothing, but it's fine. Power joke sold. Dude loved the truck. Bought it. Successful. This is this afternoon. We hung out with Justin's family a little bit and just kind of did our thing. Went and uh, went to the local um, little shop and everything. Um, disregard what's happening behind me right now. With the, it may or not be a Corvette car wash um with the top down At, yeah anyway so we have found something super freaking cool i'm super excited to go get it <laughs> we found something super cool um very unexpected we we're not looking for this particular unit but uh we stumbled upon this unit because i figure why not so um we're here we're gonna go get it it's uh very cool very cool we've already owned one we already owned one it's already been on the channel that gives you guys any hints here it's already been on the channel we loved it but i was moving on different things and someone wanted that one more than i did form stuff so here we are yet again doing the same route because it's such a solid platform it's so good it's so good i love it it's very good this thing is well optioned out has a bunch of stuff done to it we'll need to do a little bit of tweaking to it just a little bit of tweaking to make it perfect but it's a really solid unit it's really good and we're gonna go check the guy out he's about two and a half hours away um justin's giving this a little quick uh like parking lot car wash and um we're gonna run up there you can take me there and we'll have some dinner somewhere in the middle of um where are we going anderson north carolina or something so yeah Guys, welcome to the new spicy unit. You already basically know what this is. This is another X5D E70 body style. This is this is it, guys. This is this is just it. Let me tell you. This truck, this SUV, this SAV, whatever you guys like to call it. I know some people get very upset if you call these trucks, but the f is it? whatever. This thing right here, guys, let me tell you, it, it called it called home. It called home. It is it is a soft spot for me. It is something I really, really love. It's something I enjoy. And I, I love the last one so much. We had to dive into getting a second one. So this is the new to me, new to the channel, 2010 X5D. This is super freaking cool. This one has some goodies already done to it. If you if you couldn't tell, we have already ordered some goodies for it on the way as well, which is freaking sick. So cool, dude. I am just so excited. I know I get so excited about all these cars, but they're just uh, cars. I love cars, man. I love cars, vehicles, everything in between. And I, when I find one I really like, like that checks all of my boxes to like the T, such as this SUV, all wheel drive, towing, BMW, because that's a thing for me. I like BMW style. Uh, gas mileage to do it it does it all it does it all this is gonna be a very special project something kind of different than we've done in this channel before um i never got to film my raptor ownage which i highly regret and we were gonna dive back into a raptor but i kind of want to go to a gen 2 maybe maybe not gen ones are just so i feel like overpriced right now and granted they're a great truck they are probably worth every bit of 40 grand but I probably personally wouldn't pay that much unless it was like a Roush truck that had supercharger stuff on it. And we couldn't find one of those, so here we are. This is great, guys. So freaking cool.
So what we have is a very solid unit. This is from a local enthusiast. We had to drive about two and a half hours. Shout out to Justin for taking me to get this thing. This is a pre-LCI model, which is unfortunate, but also at the same time not. For what we're doing and what we're going to plan with this unit, it's really not a big deal that it's not LCI. We have LED bulbs, bulbs already put in here. All of that is checked off. We have a brand new system going in for the nav and everything ordered, which will be here tomorrow. We have a bunch of stuff planned. I'm glad I didn't get the shadow black trim as much as I love that. It's gonna get scratched up and you'll figure out why. Um, and this just really fit. The price was good, everything was there, and I'm super excited to have this thing, share it with you guys. It is just gonna be so freaking awesome. So let's go and start by going into the basics. This is a 140,000 mile unit. This is already deleted, already lifted, and already has a bunch of maintenance done. The only maintenance we're gonna have to dive into here is my simple routine maintenance, oil change, fuel filter, and he had not done the Megatronic service. If you're not familiar with these in this trans, these need a Megatronic service. You change the fluid, the filter, and sometimes even the solenoids of higher mileage on these vehicles. We're gonna start with just a simple service kit. I may just pick up some solenoids just to add me peace of mind. I'm gonna talk to Hindle and see what he recommends. Hindle's my BMW goat, the God, and he's just who I go to for all my BMW needs. Shout out to Hindle. If you don't know who Hindle is, I'm gonna drop his stuff down here. Go check him out. He'll fix any BMW you have, whether it's a 1922 or a 2022. Hindle will fix it. Shout out to Hindle. But let's dive into some features about this thing and what all we got here. So for our lift, we have a three inch lift all around this is the third row model so it has the air suspension which is eh, i would kind of didn't want but you know we got it and it was here so this is three inch lifted it actually looks pretty sick the way it is sitting right now these are i believe off an e60 or an e53 correct me if i'm wrong um not entirely sure these are 20s though and those are coming right off and getting sold or doing something with them because i'm really not a fan they look decent but i'm not a fan and i don't have a lot of ground clearance and i think the 20 for what we're doing is just kind of going to be too big here everything else exterior wise is stock we have a simple roof rack on here moving into our engine what we have here is a m57 bmw three liter six cylinder diesel this is a very solid diesel engine they put this in the 335d the 528d or in the 328d actually too and this is just an all-around wonderful motor a wonderful platform this motor is stock minus a delete kit and a castle tuning to it is the mild tune it's not super low and it's not super aggressive it's the in-between i believe we're going to take that off though and go back with an alex rodriguez or a malone 2.9 tune like i had on my old one i really like that tune this one seems to be good it's pretty clean but i just like those guys i messed with i'm not familiar with castle and they're kind of far away so i'm going to go back to who i know and what i'm used to as far as diving into what we have underneath Underneath this cover here we have just our normal mods here to delete these things and get rid of all the bad stuff and put some good stuff on here we have a billet brace pipe on the front tank deleted over here and some other natural goodies that just come with this we have a full three inch exhaust going all the way to the back factory muffler with one resonator there's the downpipe coming down comes the simple resonator and then goes back to the factory muffler back here we're gonna do a muffler delete like I did on the last one and probably leave this resonator maybe take it out I'm not entirely sure yet but this is a pretty nice piece all stainless and everything we're gonna go ahead and get that muffler off and get some nice tips on this thing Look right here these little stock tips are not cutting it I had Stort from shift fast performance weld me some four inch tips on here and they look phenomenal they're really good and I love the way that looked that's almost it for all of our um, engine stuff it's just very simple guys just very simple we don't have a lot done right now. Right now, we don't have a lot done. We're gonna go ahead and dive into the interior of the Diving into our interior, um, I'll admit the dude did not clean it very best. It is pretty freaking filthy, but we're gonna fix that. You know the deal, guys, you know what we do. We clean the crap out of stuff, detail it because that's my passion as well. But diving into the inside, we have the factory Napa black leather. Uh, we did not get a sport car, so we have to paint this and that has some like cloth off of it. So we're just gonna dye all this stuff black. Go ahead and fix that. We got every feature I wanted. We got the cold weather package. So I got a heated wheel. I got the heated seats front and rear and we got everything nice in here that I wanted. This does have the CCI unit. That means it's pretty outdated, but we have this replaced. Be here tomorrow. Still got all your normal stuff down here. Just the old outdated knob for it. Uh, Non-sport seats. These are still pretty good though. Nothing wrong with them. The tent is very dark. If you kind of look right here and see the difference, 
Um, tent's pretty freaking dark, especially at night. It's kind of brutal. Um, we'll probably end up keeping it though. I honestly might even just go ahead and tent the front window. I'm not quite sure yet. Back here, uh, we got our simple little normal stuff. We got these cool sunshades that the MW offers. These slide up and latch like that, so it's super cool. Coming in the back seats, we have the little cup holder unit right here in the center. Rear heated seats all that good stuff weather tech mats everywhere but the front drivers which is also kind of weird but nonetheless we're going to replace that and buy one not a big deal would you not classify a vehicle that has a tailgate a legit flop down fold down tailgate a truck question of the day would you not qualify that as a truck i'm not entirely sure we're going to figure out drop a comment down below is this a truck is this a suv is this a sav guys help me out here what is your opinion on what this thing is i personally call it a sav because that's what bmw goes with sport activity vehicle if you want to get technical but whatever guys that about does our walk around with the x5 go ahead and drive this thing show you what it rides like it rides pretty good right now i'm hoping it does a lot better with smaller tires or excuse me bigger tires and smaller wheels that's my hope here everything is freaking solid the paint is a little rough but i love that don't you love that because i love that that means we get to go freaking cool with this thing so we got some clear fade on the top of our fenders right here as you can see um it's not horrible but it's definitely there i got two dents in the car which i'm super thrilled about we just have brian pdr those real quick i got a dent right here in the hood and a dent on the rear hatch and i'm super happy about that because that means no bondo no stuff like that it's gonna be awesome i'm super happy with this thing guys it is a little rough around the corners we got some paint defects we got some plastic defects some scratches in places headlights are not yellow though that's a freaking plus i did have to replace this bulb already on the driver's side not a big deal it's like 100 bucks everything seems to work very well all the stuff is nice we're gonna go ahead and detail the crap out of it as you know um but let's go and drive this thing and see how she does so when we first arrive in our unit we'll go ahead and push the button so it's have keyless entry so you do not have to insert it and we got some lights on the dash tpms which i'm hoping to fix when the new stuff comes in we'll see about that soon the brake is on because we need brake pads thank you bmw but everything else seems to be pretty solid guys uh, we've got 143,000 on the cash register Here's what I'm gonna show you guys about why this is so outdated. So this is our main menu here. And then if we click on this, what we'll have is a little side menu. It has all of our settings about our car. Um, we can go to Invo sources. It will tell us our service info right here. Um, oil level and stuff like that. See, we need front brake pads and rear brake pads. Push the simple menu thing and go back right here. Our climate control over here, uh, pretty outdated as you can tell. So we definitely have to go ahead and update this. Um, show you what the nav looks like in here. So we have the two screens here, which is cool, but this is uh, kind of what we're looking like. We look like a Nintendo 64 in this thing and I'm not feeling it. So yeah. Going into our entertainment details. Uh, we just have simple radio here, nothing major. We are off-roading in the X5, ladies and gentlemen. Off-roading in the X5. Got a little bit rubbing, a little bit rubbing. Hoping the smaller tires do better. Some diesel noises. driving down the road the thing is pretty quiet it is not bad at all it is very dark in here like here's the side window and there's a front window view if you can see that uh, that's a toolbox making noise disregard but yeah it is uh pretty solid in here very dark windows you barely see out of them but i'm loving this thing there's no weird noises there was one in the sunroof justin fixed for me it was just a little piece that was broken like a little old plastic that's rattling everything rides very well though the steering feels very tight very crisp i'm very happy with that brakes feel pretty good even though we need brake pads and i think this is a great starting platform for what we're wanting to do with a truck can't wait to show you guys all the stuff i have planned for it and kind of go over that overview and just start working on this thing and showing you everything i'm super happy it's already deleted super happy it's already lifted now we can go and dive into the customization further and make the thing my own with exactly what i want to do